Over the past couple of weeks in these videos, uh, we've talked about the numerology that's embedded in the Easter season. We talk about it as the great 50 days of Easter. And yet, it's a little more complicated than that. Uh, the Bible says that on the 40th day after the resurrection, Christ ascended into heaven. And 40, of course, is a very important number in the Bible. It has this idea of completeness, or a time that is fully satisfied. So we think about Noah being in the ark for 40 days and 40 nights. We think about Christ fasting in the wilderness for 40 days before his earthly ministry. There, and then that leads us to the 40 days of Lent. So of course there are lots of these 40 day periods. The Lenten period of 40 days acts as sort of a balance. So before Easter, we have 40 days of Lent, and after the resurrection, we have 40 days leading up to Christ's ascension. And as we've sort of talked about with the, the numerology around Christmas and Epiphany, that means that uh, the ascension always happens on a Thursday. And increasingly, it's just hard in our busy lives for us to take time on a Thursday evening to get together, even though it's in the prayer book, one of our seven principal feasts. It has become customary, therefore, in most Episcopal churches to mark the ascension on the Sunday after that Thursday. This year, for a variety of, of logistical reasons, we're actually going to be marking the uh, ascension on the Sunday before, which is this coming Sunday, which according to the, the prayer book, would actually be Easter 6. Um, so we'll have one additional uh, Sunday in the Easter season, Easter 7, which we always have a Sunday after the Ascension. So it all kind of works out really, really well for us. But this uh, Sunday, we get to sing some ascension tide hymns and some music that we don't get to sing real often. These are things that are easy to sing and are going to kind of tickle the memories of those who have been around the Episcopal Church or maybe grew up Lutheran. Um, but there are things that here at St. John's haven't been sung in recent years. We'll start off the service with this glorious Welsh hymn, Lanfair, with the text, Hail the day that sees him rise. Alleluia. Like a lot of hymns, it's in four phrases. The first, second, and fourth phrase are exactly the same, and only the third phrase is a little bit musically different, which makes it very easy to catch on and sing, even on your first time through. And that same principle is true for our closing hymn, See the Conqueror Mount and Triumph, with this Dutch tune, In Babylone. Again, four uh, phrases, the first, second, and the fourth phrase are all musically the same, and only the third phrase is a little bit different. So, very easy to catch on. This is also a tune that appears other places in our hymnal where we do sing those texts, so you may be a little bit more familiar with this tune. So, lots of great texts uh, that will be celebrating Christ as he ascends into heaven. And another uh, little bit of celebration that we have this week, this will be our last Sunday this season for the full treble choir to sing with the choir. And uh, as we do from time to time, we're going to be marking their achievements by awarding them some new ribbons. If you've been around St. John's for a while, you know that our, our children wear these ribbons with a medal from the RSCM, the Royal School of Church Music, and the different colors denote their advancement through the choir. And so we're very excited that we're going to be able to promote some folks giving them their first white ribbon and also some of our most senior red ribbon folks that are going to graduate up into the yellow ribbon, which is the highest level. So we have some very exciting things to do and celebrate with our kids as well. At the uh, offertory, we'll be singing one of their favorite uh, anthems, If You Love Me, which talks all about the, uh, it's sort of foreshadowing onto Pentecost and when Christ promises the Holy Spirit after he has ascended. So it works really well liturgically, and like I say, it's one of the kids' favorite anthems to sing. So we hope that you will join us as we celebrate Christ's ascension this Sunday at St. John's. <laughs>